Hi guys, uh, my name is Imran and today we're going to talk about the theme mods API, theme modification API. Okay, so what is this uh, theme modification API? Um, theme modification API basically uh, consists of functions and hooks uh, that are used for theme modification values uh, to save or retrieve the modifications to the theme. Okay, so for example, if you go to your customizer for the theme, for your theme, okay, and inside the customizer, um, let's say if you go to custom CSS, okay, so if you want to change the value and the name of uh, this uh, theme modification name and value you can do that uh, using theme modification uh, api functions okay and then there's social media phone url so all of these values and, and names if you want to change them or modify them update them you can do that using the theme modification api functions uh, and hooks okay so that's what we're going to talk about uh, in this uh, tutorial okay uh, so there are different functions that the WordPress have provided. Uh, there is get theme mod, get theme mods, set theme mod, remove theme mod, remove theme mods. So these are the basic five functions that are used. Okay, so we're gonna go through them uh, one by one. Okay, so let's first talk about um, get theme mods. Okay, so we're gonna go to our index.php and um, we're going to just open a PHP tag like I've done here and we're going to type um, print our get theme mods okay and let's see what it gives us so we'll go to our theme there is something wrong here. Okay, cool. Right. Okay. So as you can see, we've got uh, the entire array that's printed when we have, uh, you know, used this get theme mods function. So it's going to give us the entire, uh, you know, list of items in this array. Uh, so it's going to give us all the theme mods uh, with their names and their values. So you have your nav uh, menu location theme mod uh, this is which is basically if you go to menus in your appearance and then manage location so we've set this location to primary so basically this is relating to that okay and then you have um, site URL uh, theme mod which has got this value then blog name blog description and this is our theme, you know, because we're using a Bowen theme. Uh, so this is basically uh, our theme, um, theme mods uh, f and property and values for a specific theme. Okay. So I'll go ahead and explain to you where these values are coming from. If you go to appearance customizer. Uh, first one is CSS text area. If you go to custom CSS, this CSS, if you do an inspect element, you can see it says um, so there is a, a text area uh, input element, okay, uh, wherein there is a attribute which is called attribute name called data customized setting link. And Pavan mod is the basically the name of the mod, okay. And then it has got its property called CSS text area, okay. This part, okay. And that's that's blue actually. So if we check CSS text area, that's a part, okay. So even in fact we can check it here as well. Okay, cool. Now, the next parts, one moment. All right, and the next one is the sidebar position. Um, 
theme mod properties. So if you ch go to sidebar layout and if you inspect element this, if you see there is an input element. Okay, and then there is um, name of this input element, and it says power mod, which is this, and then it's property name, which is sidebar position. Okay, and that's right. Okay, that's what is described here. Okay, similarly, then you have phone. If you go to social media, you have phone URL. If you do an inspect element on this. <coughs> Again, power and mode phone. So power and mode phone. And you've got this value right here. Then similarly, Twitter URL has this value here and, and so on. So I'm not going to go into detail of all of them, but I hope you get the idea. Okay, cool. So now, what if we want to change this value? Uh, so either we can do it from here or we can do programmatically. Okay, so what we're going to learn is how to do it programmatically uh, using the theme modification API. Okay, so uh, let's do a basic job of changing this. Okay, or let's go ahead and add some new properties first, theme modification properties first. Okay, so let's say. Uh, all I have to do is go to my functions.php and define a function here. Uh, but what I've done is I've included a custom function file into my functions.php uh, file of my theme, uh, Power and Light. Okay, and uh, I'm going to write the function here uh, in this uh, custom function file which I've included in functions.php. And so what I've done is I've defined a, a custom function called style theme mods. Okay, and I'm using the add action uh, hook. Okay, so the init hook, whenever the script reaches the init hook, uh, add action will be called, which in turn calls the style theme mods function, and that's how it will work. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, create a function called set theme mod, because remember when I explained to you that these are the functions I've explained to you what get theme mod does, mods does, and then we are talking about the set theme mod. So set theme mod basically sets a specific theme mod, uh, you know, name and property, uh, name and value. Okay, so let's say you want to set up a, a theme mod name as background, again, okay, value as black. So we've got that. And let's go ahead and um, refresh the page and see if that is done. <coughs> All right, there you go. You can see background was not there before, but now we've got the background property also set with the value as black. That's how you set the new theme mod uh, modification, uh, you know, names and values. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and remove this uh, theme mod completely. So this part. So to remove that, again, we have the next function called remove theme mod. So all we have to do is just do remove theme mod and it accepts this parameter which is a theme mod name. And if we go ahead and refresh it, <coughs> as you can see it's gone. Okay. So pretty much uh, we've learned the get theme mods and set theme mods, remove theme mod, and then you also have remove theme mods. So this basically does not accept any parameter. All you have to do is just call this function. Uh, you know, probably you can do that in the index.php or whatever. Uh, so this function is going to remove all of the, you know, theme mod names and their values, all of them. Okay, so it's going to get empty. All right. Uh, but we're not going to do that yet. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is look into um, get theme mod. Okay, so get theme mod basically gets this specific value uh, of a specific uh, theme mod. So let's say if we want to get the value of the block name, theme mod name, uh, we can do that by get theme mod. Let's do that. So go to our index.php and we do get theme mod and we just specify 
what was the name? Blog name. Okay, save it, refresh the page. <clears throat> You've got this value. In fact, let's do it separately. blog, I think it was blog name, which cross check. Yep, that was blog name. So as you can see, we've got the value, if you zoom around right here, okay, for the blog name. So that's what is done by get theme mod. Uh, in case if I want to get the value of Pavan mod, uh, theme mod name, you can also do that by writing Pavan mod and refresh the page <coughs> right as you can see all of this in fact we've not just got this value but the entire array some of them have got their values set and some of them don't. I guess you've got our CSS text area, our sidebar position, phone, Twitter, and so on and so forth. Okay, so we've got all of those values. Okay, cool. So let's just take this off. Right, now we're going to go to the next one, which is what if I want to change uh, you know the the value of color or let's say blog name uh, these are just one single theme mod value they are not multi-dimensional arrays so we can definitely change them by set theme mod function and for example if I want to do a set theme mod and change the color to red. Okay, I hope that will be done. So you want to change this color green to red. All right, as you can see, it's changed. Uh, but this is just for one specific value. It is not for the multi-dimensional area like this. What if you want to change the CSS text area blue? And this is not going to work because. Uh, the set theme mod accepts two parameters: the name and the value. Okay, so the name, we can specify this, but it's not going to, you know, accept uh, an array like this. So, uh, so there is another way to do that. Okay, so I've written the code here and I'll explain to you how this works. Okay, so basically this is the same function, style theme mods, uh, add action is the hook that will call this function. It's the same thing that I've done earlier, but this time what we're going to do is we're going to use the get theme mod uh, function which is going to get this entire array this power mod we, we are passing power mod into it which is the theme mod name and it's in the location variable we are going to get this entire array like we had printed it earlier that we got the entire array for our power mod uh, we're going to get this entire array okay once we get this entire array in the location variable, we're going to check if it's not empty. We're also going to check that the type is array. Okay, and then we're going to run a for each loop. Okay, we're going to loop, o through, uh, loop over through this array, this power mod array, multi-dimensional array. Uh, this is uh, it's not multi-dimensional, multi-dimensional is this actually. Okay, so we're going to loop, loop through this array. Okay, so it's going to go through each item. So we're going to say for each location as location ID and menu value. So location ID will be uh, these left uh, left parts, which is the names. And uh, the menu value will be the right parts, which are the values. Okay, so it's going to loop through 
over each item in this array which is you know first time it loops over the location ID will be CSS text area and the menu value will be blue the second time it loops over this then the location ID will be sidebar position and the menu value will be right and so on okay so we're gonna check uh, what we really want to do is change this part not everything so we want to change the value of the CSS text area so all we have to do is uh, we'll check if the location ID is equal to CSS text area which means uh, this part is equal to CSS text area when it loops over it's gonna find if the first part is equal to this in the first case yes it is uh, then what it's going to do is it's going to say that location location ID which means Pavan mode CSS text area is equal to blue or in this case I have to change it to another one so let's say I want to change it to red okay so I want to change this to red so so what this basically going to do is it's going to change uh, this name uh, value the theme mod name value to red uh, but that's not enough because uh, you know, by changing it's only changing here you know it's not really updating uh, the values here so to update that we'll use the set theme mod uh, so what this is going to do is it's going to say that you know this is the theme mod name power mod and go ahead and uh, you know update or go ahead and uh, update this particular array location now in location array we have got our new values we have everything uh, that we had earlier uh, but now this time we have CSS text area as blue okay so this is going to give us the new location uh, array which means that you know this time is going to give us the new array which will have CSS text area as red okay cool so that's that's the thing that's about it let's just refresh the page and, and see if that works brilliant that's done okay cool and then if you want to go ahead and remove everything the entire array you can do that by remove theme mods uh, but I'm not doing that you can do it yourself if you want okay so I think that's all all been done uh, I hope you've understood uh, this um, part and we'll end this video with this lovely actress Amy Jackson okay um, and she's saying bye to you okay thank you guys for watching take care bye